Hello. Today I thought I'd talk about my philodendrons in my collection. I currently own four philodendrons, and I'll go along and show you which ones I have. This one right here is a philodendron cordadium. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but it has these uh, dark green leaves, heart shape. If you keep this plant in a nice bright area, these leaves could get up to four to five inches uh, big. If it's a um, really low light area, the leaves do stay small. This one's got a lot of new growth that I just noticed and it's getting pretty long. It's a trailing plant and you treat it pretty much like you would a pothos. Down here, I have a neon philodendron, sorry for the light, but comparing the leaf colors, as you can see, it's more of a, a lime green color. This one, I got it as a, a trimming and it's getting pretty uh, long as well. This one over here is my favorite. This is called Philodendron Brazil. I just love the patterns on the leaves. It looks like they've been painted on. And again, this one is also from a cutting. And when I got it, there was only like three leaves on this plant. And as you can see, it's doing really well. Over here, it's a Philodendron Congo. And this is the red Congo, as you can see by the red stems. There's another one called the Green Congo. One way of, uh, I guess, to tell philodendrons is by the heart-shaped leaf. This one um, is a little bit longer compared to the other ones. These other ones over here have a, a more of a heart-shaped leaf. Um, these two plants right here, or three plants, they get confused a lot as pothos. I'm gonna bring a potto along so you can see it. This is my Pato's Marble Queen. And here's the way I could tell if it's a philodendron or a Pato's. If you notice on the philodendron, the stem is sort of round and where the leaves comes out, there's not a, a slit. But when you move down to a Pato's, I don't know if you could see that little brown line, the little slit right there, even though the leaves are um, heart shaped, just like the philodendron, the stems are uh, have that little slit in it and they seem to be more crispy. I guess that's the best way I could describe it. They snap easier than they do uh, on the philodendron. The philodendron stems tends to be a little bit uh, tubular and harder where the paltos is softer and I guess more crispy. Um, you could propagate them in the same manner. Here is another pothos that I've been propagating for a couple weeks now. I just cut off the stem right above a node and these right there are the nodes which is the beginning of roots. You always want to leave at least two nodes in the water or down in the soil. Uh, so you could get a nice hardy plant. This one over here already has a root. And um, this has only been two weeks. Again, look at the little slit. Because uh, I don't know if you could tell, but right there where my finger is, see the browning? Let me see if I could get a, a better angle of it. But there's like a little cut in the stem and that's how i could tell if it's a philodendron or all the potos because they look so much alike um these are low light plants or a highlight they're very easy to take care of i water them once a week or when the soil feels dry they're trailing plants and they grow very easily um the Pathos is called Devil's Ivy, and the Philodendron, I haven't heard a nickname for them, but a lot of people confuse Philodendrons for Pathos. There's over 200 different species of Philodendrons, 
So there's quite a wide variety to choose from. I want to show you the new addition to the family. I just purchased this one. This is a silver pato, or they also call it silver philodendron. There's like a neon iridescent color to the leaves. The camera is not picking it up, but the leaves are just stunning. It almost looks like it has glitters on it. Um, like I said, the camera is not picking it up. I just picked this one up uh, this weekend, only $5. It did have a couple damaged leaves on it, but I didn't feel like haggling for <laughs> them to mark down the price. And I also picked up this little dish from a local artist for only $8. Well, that's all I have for uh, you today. If you like what you see, please leave me a comment. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification button so you'll be notified when I post my next video. Bye-bye.